hello, Kathy Vick, deeply awake. And uh, we want today to only crack open the idea about reincarnation. We tell you it is a vast study, uh, but we must give some definitions to things for those who um, are not familiar with the idea. So, in the uh, organized religions, and we say the mass consciousness of the Western world, there are many, there are majority, which uh, believe quite firmly <laughs> that uh, this life, this body you have right now, this one, well, that's all you get. And what you do with it, well, it matters a great deal, of course. Because uh, it, if you behave, or if things happen to you, which uh, these things are dark, or um, naughty, or uh, against the code, that you understand is the norm. Oh my, there's punishment, right? But isn't it punishment enough in this particular mindset that at the end of a human life, with all of its agreements and requests to give and receive personal evolutionary realities, chaos and darkness and pain, lala. Isn't it punishment enough to think that after this, what, 80 year or whatever, 15 year, depend on the person, that that's all. It's a, it's a box that goes into the ground and your story's over. And that's that well, from this mindset of curse, you will hear people say, well, reincarnation, that's just wishful thinking. This is all there is. We would say the reverse is true. Ready? It points to something far larger. So, we ask, are you ready? Line linear reality requires a yesterday, a today, and a tomorrow. And there seems to be this need to believe that all three are real structures which um, are quite strong and have their own realities within. And that uh, isn't it true, most people believe, the past impacts the present. Most individuals don't understand that the same vitality and power they give to past events rides within future events and also influences quite greatly what occurs in the present, although the point of power is in the present and the consciousness gets to decide what truly is going on, what truly is real. It is true, this thought that each are on their own. Okay, in one aspect, it's true. Who is going to be put in that little box and into the ground, or as this one would prefer, onto the pyre in the desert late at night, furtively. One, the one who was a baby. Just one. And everything this one said and did and felt and thought. Well, it's up to that one in the present to 
connect to others or not to share the reality or not to impact others always always so reincarnation is the idea that the soul there's something bigger and let's just call it the soul why not that this soul is uh, ongoing as is the story Yogananda talks about this this idea that you die and there's this magical reset and uh, when you come back you can be completely different well in the old energy hard each awakened life earned now it's different now it's different but the idea here was a simple one lessons continue what could lessons be so simple love is the reality God is love you are love and loved and this reality means you are part of God or creator or divinity or light or loving family or however you want to say it reincarnation implies that the soul is in company sure coming in as a body but already telling stories and conjuring up new ones well stories are wonderful and uh, stories of being on a hill by yourself watching the sunset that's very nice but <laughs> no physical reality is a shared one it is a cooperative one and it is highly relational so reincarnation that means that I lived before and I'll live again oh holy crap how did I get in this mess I don't want this mess to continue indefinitely well you know in some of the religions then it's taught well this is how you avoid the crap storm next time well okay that's good you uh, live in alignment with your soul now hmm well kind of cut to the chase there with that one don't you so reincarnation allows an individual to understand continuity in uh, ways that are not possible when thinking in non reincarnational terms it is a uh, this thought one body one life that's it reward punishment or blackness but an end can you not feel the soul grieving that particular thought as it's being thunk oh oh how everything becomes so high stakes how everything everything winds up being about survival survival emotional survival spiritual survival isn't that the question at hand hmm? and of course well the only thing that I can do in this particular reality where I am born I live and I die well survive it 
to do it uh, as well as I can based on rules people have given me and toting up a little scorecard at the end some people think they go to the heaven and there is a group like a council sitting there and that council judges them and based on performance the next life is chosen we would say this speaks to a consciousness not to a reality sounds a bit like an annual job performance doesn't it and do you really think when you look at the pristine beauty of a flower that the creator of that would be such a simplistic and punitive and inflexible creator <laughs> it just makes no sense we could go much farther with reincarnation and so we shall before we close Reincarnation is also a linear construct. It is the two-dimensional pencil drawing of multi-dimensional truth. What does that mean? Dear ones, it means, it does not imply, it screams multiplicity. It screams soul sharing. It screams a high order of coherence that is unknown currently to the human mind. We have given this one glimpses. She understands and it is profound the changes which occur and the freedom found. The sense of uh, mobility and the sense of safety the need for holding harmless it's true think of this it is true that one of the ways that uh, human beings come who are in the western model come to this idea of reincarnation is that it may be pointed out to them that it's a bit unusual that uh, every weekend they must go dress up uh, in soldier uniform from a war fought uh, decades or uh, hundred years or more ago. They have a burning need to learn about the World War II or they uh, atypically love uh, the France or uh, some place they've never been and so they study the language and if they follow it they find a sense of home they did not appreciate previously this clang, this feeling of home, hmm. it is a peace inducing. Why? We suggest that when truth about self is sensed, there is relief and peace. 
settling on the middle path of uh, simply believing it possible that you have lived before and you will live again. Well, such questions bubble up. Well, who's in charge of this? Who could possibly be in charge of this? It seems a very, very uh, complex system. And it's a lot easier to think in terms of little black boxes in the ground and babies being born in hospital rooms. Let's do it that way. Makes more sense. Yes, okay. Limit, 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 after limit. That's fine. It's a choice. And we say, it's the ones who truly believe in the little boxes who will take a look at this reincarnation thing and say, oh, wishful thinking. You don't understand the gravity of this situation. You don't understand how high stakes this is. I am in survival here. Oh, that's good. Have fun with that. Enjoy that immensely. Because you know, it's okay. It's valid. And there are plenty of other people who will play along with you. Please, enjoy. What will be enjoyed? Fear. Insecurity. Anxiety. Depression. <laughs> Some say, well, if I believe in this reincarnation thing, then really what it means is that it's just, uh, I can do anything, it doesn't matter. I can kill someone and I will re re respawn. Uh, so will they. So uh, it's really, nothing matters. Oh, <laughs> dear ones. Again, can you not see the fundamental errors of that thinking and how absolutely elementary the thinking is and what it speaks to? Ha! <laughs> Pent up animus, we say. There are some who have the idea of reincarnation and say, oh God, how wonderful. I wonder what could possibly happen. I wonder who would I like to have lifetimes with? Who have I had lifetimes with before? Have you not met people in the most unusual situations or the most mundane? and take one look at them and none. Ha! I know you. Hey, I know you. And suddenly it's just smooth as glass. The mutual recognition and give and take a flow that was established. Oh, so long ago. And is simply being acknowledged in the flesh in a grocery store line, or at a simple party. And these uh, black box people, they say, oh well, we can't do the reincarnation thing, it's just too magical. It's just too, it, it is, it, it airs on the side of uh, creativity and abandon and uh, no, uh, no rules. Yes, okay. Oh, poor babies. Really? Really? Take a look at the solar system. Take a look at space. Take a look at a lobster shell. Take a look at your life and the coincidences ha, that litter it. Oh, it's all random. Mm-hmm. This speaks to your consciousness, not reality. And this is the point of this particular video. Simply because you have an idea about how things go doesn't necessarily mean that you're correct. 
Isn't that interesting? Doesn't it introduce the need for a little self-doubt? Yes, it does. But further, we would wish to say, it's not truly self-doubt that gets stirred up. <laughs> it's doubting what you've been told. And that is all. Doubting your beliefs. Well, it's nice to have that particular thought when looking at this. You're not doubting yourself. You're doubting what you've been told wondering if it's true or not and for that we say bravo for those in the western world it's about time because once you begin to realize that the people you are interacting with you are going to see again and that they are part of the web isn't it funny how re uh, responsibility becomes a part of one's behavior. Isn't it true? A couple of friends go to a bar or whatever and one says to the other, hey, go talk to her. You're never gonna see her again. Uh, get up on that uh, bar and uh, and strip, dance to the music. You're never gonna see these people again. Discounting. Sad. It's unnecessary. It's unloving. But it allows for a certain uh, freedom of expression when in the belief structure there is little freedom. It discounts the humans looking on. So, reincarnation. There's more to it, this reality thing, than you may think. And if you are already there, well then, hooray. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You understand this is not a lesson that particularly is as necessary in uh, cultures which uh, understand a little bit about reincarnation. The um, standardization, well, that's the human mind, that's duality, that's Kali Yuga stuff. as is the caste system but that's another subject for another time blessings to each and all blessings to you this day sitting there considering that maybe there might be another way to be thinking about this and that perhaps the things you feel and know which have no physical basis or evidence might actually be pushing on you just like the, you let the past and the future push on you oh anxious one when we speak to this one you understand when you hear this voice you are hearing something other than she and she learns, and she learns, and she learns. Thank God. Bravo. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs>